Hello students, welcome to the world of mathematics and Thomas Tutorials. In this session, we are going to do with the very important topics. Bravo! Derivatives. It stands a lot for your 12th standard, followed by the entrance exams, followed by the complete engineering career. You know all the basic formulas. Start with the formulas. X ka derivative 1 Constant ka derivative 0 X raise to n ka derivative And n is minus 1 Yes, but being a Thomas student, how you say? Base is a Power is a Number Which standard form? X raise to n X raise to n ka derivative N x raise to n minus 1 Next standard formula Base is a number This is 
d by dx of sin x. The first part gets completed. Followed by that we have the another part that is x cos x minus sin x into are these two equations correlated to each other? Yes. Ye bhi andar jayega d by dx? Yes. Idhar bhi andar jayega ki nahi jayega? Yes. As a result, shall I say, here also you are going to apply which formula? Multiplication. So, kya ho jayega idhar? Andar jayega to, this is the first term. This is first into d by dx of the second term. So, first derivative. Second plus second derivative of first. And you, you get what? A d by dx of cos x. After this, what to do? Simplification using the standard formulas. So if you simplify, you will get what? x into sin x plus cos x into. This x would remain as it is. You remember? Cos x ka derivative is minus sin x. So here I would represent it as minus sin x. Plus, this is cos x that would remain as it is. And here you have a d by dx of x is given by 1. So this would remain as it is as 1. Minus the d by dx of sin x cos x. The next part. Plus x into cos x minus sin x would remain as it is. You would get what? This is the x term. d by dx of sin x is given by cos x. Plus, sin x would remain as it is. The d by dx of x is 1. Plus, the d by dx of minus cos x is given by sin x. But here you have only cos x. So it is minus sin x. Yes, is that clear to everyone? Next one. It says what? 1 minus 2 tan x into 5 plus 4 sin x. Shall I say this whole bracket is the first term? This whole bracket is the second term. Which formula is to be used? Multiplication. So let's start with the solution part. Differentiating with respect to x. So dy by dx. Okay, now let's start with the solution. This is the first term into the d by dx of? Second. It says what? 5 plus 4, four sin x is your first part. That is first derivative second. second plus second. second term. That is the 5 plus 4, four sin x into the d by dx of which term? Four. First term. It says what? 1 minus 2 tan x. Which is equal to 1 minus 2 tan x would remain as it is. Now, when this d by dx enters in this bracket, it is what a d by dx of 5. It is what a d by dx of a constant. Its answer is 0. So here you would get 0. Plus, d by dx of 4 sin x. 4 is a constant. It would be kept out. So here you will get 4. Into it is what? The d by dx of sin x. Sin x ka derivative is cos x. So here you would get 4 cos x. Plus 5 plus 4 sin x into d by dx of 1. 0. Why is it 0? Constant. Constant. Minus 2 is again a constant. It should be kept. Out. The d by dx of tan x is given by x square x. So if you just show it in a simple way, it would be what? 1 minus 2 tan x into 4 cos x plus 5 plus 4 sin x into minus 2 x square x. Did you everyone? Yes, sir. Next one. If you have observed in this question, here you have what? The first term the second term and the third term. So what to do in that case? You remember a standard formula. If you have u into v into w, w what to do? First, second, derivative of third. First and third, derivative of second. Second and third, derivative of first. 
Shall we solve it again? Yes. We are differentiating with respect to x. So it is what dy by dx would be equal to. Yeah, if first term is followed by that, this is your second term. So first and second. And what will happen? The derivative of third term. Next, first, second, third ka derivative. Yeah, what will happen? Second, third. Derivative of first. So I would get what sine x into log x into the derivative of x square. After that it is first, third, derivative of second. So it is what? x square log x into the d by dx of sine x. As a result, if you simplify, that is x square into sine log x square derivative is So shall I say it is 1 by x plus sin x into log x base is a variable power is a number which is the standard form x raised to n its answer is what n x raised to n minus 1 in this equation n is what 2 so you would get 2 x raised to 2 minus 1 plus x square log x into the d by dx of sin x is given by cos x so here you would get cos x next shall I say this x and this square is gone it is cancelled with each other next you would get x into sin x plus this is 2 into x simply so shall I say it is 2x into sin x log x plus x square into log x into cos x yes or no yes, are this sums clear to everyone yes, sir. definitely yes, sir. are you sure yes, sir. very sure yes, sir.